So my question is, uh, I've heard that when you come into Salah late, uh, the Imam starts the Jama'ah, and you, the, the Saf is full, but you want to start a new Saf, and you're not allowed to pray by yourself, you have to pull someone out from the first Saf. Do you have to do that, or can you pray by yourself? No. So with these questions, I'm not sure. Sometimes I mean, you know, the, the, the rulings are being mentioned in the, in the Masjid, I would say something different. But what you said, some actually said that. Uh, because of the hadith of the Prophet There's no salah for the munfarid, the one praying alone behind the saf. But the ulama, they have explained this by saying, if this is a person comes and there's a space in the line, but he choose not to stand in the space in the line and he choose to stand, stand alone in the back. This is what the hadith means. Because if the, the saf is complete and it's fit, there's no space. Uh, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فَاتَّقُوا اللَّهُ مَا اسْتَطَعْتُمْ As the ulama, they say, Feel Allah to the best of your ability. You don't find a space. What should you do? And to pull someone from the saf, what if the person doesn't know? Or as far as the action is concerned, if you do this, and someone then would walk behind and stand with you in the salah, his salah is valid and your salah is valid. But where is that in the sunnah of the Prophet when someone would do this? Plus, what if a person refuses? I came early, I want to be in the first line. Why would you take me from, that, from my spot? So uh, since you're commanded to come and you, you, others are not responsible for what you do, then if, if sometimes the people, are, the brothers are standing at ease, and this is, since this is brought up, we, we do something with all due respect, but the, the people also are, upon the sunnah, they do something wrong when it comes to making the line straight. We fill the gaps, and we should fill the gaps, right? Shoulder to shoulder, foot to foot. But we pay attention to the foot more than the shoulders, and this is wrong. So you'd find the person, leg is wide stretched like this to make sure that the foot is touched when the shoulders even sometimes are not really touched. It's supposed to be like when you want to lie down, you want to lie next to the person, go like this and then like this, right? So the shoulders first and then the, the, the foot would, would line up. But the shoulders is most important, then the body is next to the body. So when, you, when you're lining up to the middle of the saf, everybody from both sides, they come to the middle of the saf. You only have one point of reference that you go to, not both. So if you see the saf is like this wide, then you can maybe uh, push a couple of brothers to make the line you know, uh, in a proper way, and then you find a spot to, to pray in. As long as you don't disturb them or they think what is going on, something strange is happening, you, they would panic in the salah. If that might happen or everything is fine, then just pray behind the saf and the salah is valid, inshallah ta'ala, since you did the best you can, Allah.